During this Hunger Action Month, KX News is working to highlight the work of food pantries in our communities that are trying to get food and other needed supplies into the hands of those who need it the most. In today's KX Conversation, we're joined by Charlie Kilzer, the director of Amen Food Pantry in Dickinson. Charlie, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And Charlie, food pantries are very important. They help so many people. What is the need like right now in Dickinson? The need in Dickinson has extremely increased. Um, the number of families needing our services like, has actually doubled. We've seen since the epidemic has hit, it devastated a lot of families. So we're seeing numbers rise. We're seeing new families come to the area that are in need. You mentioned the pandemic having an impact. How has that changed the way you serve the community? Obviously, a lot of people have had to make changes and adapt. How has that impacted you? Right, so at this time, unfortunately, we're not allowed to let clients into the facility, which has impacted us because in the past, we let them into the facility so they could choose the foods that their family would eat and that they're most in need of. However, now we are actually packaging carts and we take that outside to the door and deliver it to the family. You mentioned the knee doubling. How many people are you serving now? So roughly we'll see anywhere from 35 to 45 um, every day we're open. So it's honestly since November almost doubled. During Hunger Action Month, we're trying to bring awareness to this food insecurity. We also hope people get involved and help. What can they do for you at Amen Food Pantry? What they can do is that during this time, if they are able to give, that we're asking that they do. Um, if you are fortunate enough to give to your neighbors in need, now is the time more than ever. Uh, we're asking for donations of anything such as toothpaste, toothbrushes, soap, laundry detergent, toilet paper, soup, canned vegetables, or any goods like that. Basically, we won't turn anything away. So canned goods and medicine are basically the only things we cannot take. With that need increase, how have you been able to keep up with the demand? Basically, with the outreach of our community, they've been wonderful. They've run multiple food drives for us. Um, they've just been very giving. We've had many people put on just special events to gather donations for us. And without their support and generosity, there's no way we'd be able to keep servicing the families we serve. So great that the community has been on board to help. And of course, Charlie, we hope that many Absolutely. more people are able to come on board during this Hunger Action Month as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me.